Britain's vaccine race has a new player after trials of the Novavax vaccine showed promising results on Thursday. The vaccine was shown to be 89.3% effective against coronavirus, including against new more contagious strains of COVID-19 identified in the UK last year. The jab is also effective against a strain of coronavirus found in South Africa, though less so than the UK variant or the original variant. The British government has ordered 60 million doses of the inoculation, though it is not expected to be approved by regulators for some weeks. Production for the vaccine will take place in Teesside, a key constituency which helped propel Boris Johnson to power in 2019. Several other promising vaccines are expected to be available to the UK in the coming months, including one by the French firm Valneva, which will produce its vaccine in Scotland. Britain's Vaccine Task Force has secured early access to over 367 million jabs, enough to inoculate the population several times over. The UK's approach to mass vaccination has been to invest quickly in various potential vaccines in the hope at least one of them would be effective against COVID-19. So far, British regulators have approved three vaccines, and two of them have already been rolled out to over 11% of the population. Ministers say they are on track to hit the government's target to inoculate 15 million of the most vulnerable people by the 15th of February. In contrast, the EU was slow to secure vaccine deals and has seen just 2% of its population vaccinated. Parts of Spain, Portugal and France have had to temporarily end their vaccination programmes after they ran out of supplies. Brussels has admitted it will be difficult to meet its target of delivering jabs to 70% of its population by the end of the summer.